Question 1. What is load runner? Answer. Load runner accurately measure and analysis the system performance and its functionality. Question 2. When load runner is used? Answer. Load runner is used to test applications when load sustaining is critical for our project and the tool. Application developed as expected to work under heavy loads. In all cases, load testing manually is not possible. Question 3. What is the advantage of using LoadRunner? Answer. O oh, LoadRunner automatically records the performance of the client server during test. O oh, LoadRunner checks where performance delays occur network client delays. O oh, LoadRunner monitor the network and server resource to help the improve performance. Question 4. What is LoadRunner controller? Answer. Controller is manage and maintain the scenario. Using controller you control all the views in single workstation. Question 5. What are the LoadRunner testing process? Answer. There are 5 steps. 1. Planning the test. 2. Creating the user script. 3. Creating the scenario. 4. Running the scenario. 5. Analysis the test result. Question 6. What is LoadRunner API function? Answer. Database views are do not operate client application. Using LoadRunner API function the database views can access the data from the server. Question 7. What protocols does LoadRunner support? Answer. Industry standard protocols for example HTTP and ODBC are explicitly supported by LoadRunner. Furthermore any protocol that communicates over a Windows socket can be supported. Question 8. What can I monitor with LoadRunner? Answer. Monitor system bottlenecks during a test run and capture and display the performance data from every server or component. Question 9. How many users can I emulate with LoadRunner on a PC? Answer. Unlimited. No dead end. Depends on system response. That too in turn depends on various factors like entire system configuration etc. If system bottlenecks observes in very beginning or minimum no of users no further addition of users will be considered unless observed bottleneck is resolved. Question 10. What are the user components in LoadRunner? Answer. Application components used are client, database or additionally business application server. Web server works on and through LAN, WAN or WWW connection. Application server components are client, business server and database server without use of WWW. But through protocols like FTP. Question 11. What are the reasons why parameterization is necessary when load testing the web server and the database server? Answer. Parameterization is generally done to test with multiple set of data or records. Question 12. What is scenario? Answer. A scenario defines the events that occur during its testing session. Exam. Deposit cash. Withdraw money. Question 13. What is user script? Answer. While run a scenario on every user execute a script that script known as user script. Question 14. What the user script contain? Answer. The user script includes the function that measure and record the performance of the server during the scenario. Question 15. What is transaction? Answer. Transaction measure the time which takes for the server to respond to task submitted by the user. Question 16. When the rendezvous point is insert? Answer. When multiple views are to perform tasks at exactly the same time then insert the rendezvous point to emulate the peak load on the server. Question 17. What is planning for the test? Answer. Define the performance testing requirements for example no of concurrent users, typical business processes and required response time. Question 18. What do you mean by creating user script? Answer. Creating user script for emulate the action that virtual user perform during the scenario execution. Question 19. What are the process for developing a user script? Answer. Then there are five steps for developing a user script. 1. Recording the user script. 2. Edit the user script. 3. Runtime setting. 4. Run the user script in standalone mode. 5. Incorporate the user script into a load runner scenario.